Hey guys, thank you so much for joining our call. December 8th already. Um, the month is flying. We are almost about to celebrate Christmas and then the new year and then it'll be 2017. So, um, so obviously, I think this is a good time to start planning and goal setting. Um, and I know that this call can be probably like a long five, six, seven hours long because there's so many things that can take place in goal setting. So I'm going to touch a little bit up on what goal setting is and how you do it. But most importantly, I know that many of you guys wanted to talk about um, the leadership ladder and, and how to, um, and, and I think everyone here has got, actually, I think everyone, I'm pretty sure everyone here has gone through uh, coach basics uh, phase one and two so you guys understand how to um, rank advance to emerald rank advance to diamond what that entails but we also want to concentrate on how to meet your income goals right so we're going to break that down a little bit um, I know it's really difficult to do this via zoom uh, I wanted to really do this uh, via you know face to face because you get to write down things you get to use a calculator so pull your calculators um you get to ask questions you know so it's more of a workshop than a zoom call but i'm going to try the best that i can to really just walk you through it and then at the end if you guys have any questions please ask me i do understand also that in terms of volume it can be confusing for people so I'm gonna try to do like a quick one-on-one -on -one before I jump into the you know how to make $250 a week to $500 a week and so on and so forth so um, first I want to congratulate very very quickly we cannot forget this hello um, we're going to start by congratulating where is she oh she um, I think there I can't see you girl let me see your face. I know about me. The baby, Maritza, the, the baby sleeper. The baby sleeper. Ah, okay. but I'm here. <laughs> well, we want to congratulate our team member, Maritza Munoz, for achieving a huge milestone today in her business. Yay. And I know how hard this girl works. You know, everyone here knows that Maritza is a mommy, she's a wife, she's a VP and a hedge fund, so it's not easy. And on top of that, she's helping save people's lives. So congratulations for reaching the rank of diamond, which is a big deal, right? And tonight we're gonna to talk about what getting to diamond leader means, right? <laughs> so <Awesome>. congratulations. <laughs> congratulations, we're so proud of you. I know that um, it took a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, and a lot of commitment, and a lot of love um, you know, to your challengers and your coaches, so congrats, girl. Thank you so much. Congratulations, we will make more noise, but we don't wanna wake up your baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And behind every diamond, there is a star diamond. So congratulations, Nilda, for starting your qualification for one star diamond. This is where the good stuff begins, team. <laughs> Six weeks of qualifications, baby, but you got this. So congratulations. I know, I know how much work goes into your challengers and how much you know love and support goes into your teammates, your coaches. So you are a rock star four and a half months to get there that's record time congrats i'm so proud of you congratulations and our girl amy for already achieving success club and it's like december 8th right december 8th like i mean come on give us a break leave us some people <laughs> Congratulations, and I want to just congratulate me, Dahlia, as well, because we didn't give her a shout out last week for reaching, yes, for reaching Emerald, girl. That's a big milestone in this business. That's like the foundation to this business. So congratulations to you, because, you know, we kind of just jumped in because Jeff was on our call, but you deserve all recognition. You came in swinging, just like Court of Force, fighting for it. So congratulations, you deserve recognition. 
And also for Amy and Carolina, you guys have achieved your summit ticket for free. So I'm so excited about that success starters and success starters for those who don't know is basically when you achieve success club with either success club, you know, five, which is helping three people or helping five people with success club 10. And that is consecutively. And that really just sets the tone of your business. If you do that for three months consecutively, then you're going to make it a non-negotiable to hit it every single month thereafter. And then comes success, um, excuse me, all-star, which is 12 months consecutively. And then uh, legends, which is 24 months consecutively. And that really sets the foundation of how successful you're going to be in this business. And, you know, um, statistics show that if you're hitting success club five or 10, you can be a uh, six-figure earner with Beachbody between two to, you know, four or five years. I mean, that's crazy. You set the, the, you know, the expectations for yourself as well as how fast you want to get to earning a um, hundred thousand plus. So um, you decide how fast you want to do that. So congratulations to all the team members um, and congrats to all of you for being on tonight's call. So, um, all right, so I'm going to share my screen. Uh, let, me sh let me see what's, what, what I'm, because my screen might be a little crazy over here. All right, let's see. Can you see my screen? You know what? I can't see you guys, so hang on one sec. Uh, come on. There we go. Can you guys see my screen? Yes, okay. All right, so goal setting, and I'm going to start this bad boy. Uh, see, um, every single time this gets me, uh, slideshow. Slideshow, and from the beginning. All right, I'm going to try to go very quickly through these because I think um, what you guys want to really talk about is at the end. All right, so, oh, let me move this out the way because I can't see. All right, so goals. A dream written down with a date becomes a goal. A goal broken down into steps become a plan. And a plan backed by action makes your dreams come true. Just wanted to start with that. All right, so I know that many of you um, have seen this be, uh, before, whether you're a teacher by trade, whether you're working for corporate or, you know, wherever you were setting goals, you know, these were the ways that um, they teach us to set our goals, right? They have to be smart goals, which means that they need to be specific. They need to be measurable. They need to be attainable. They need to be realistic and they need to be timely. All right, so what is specific? A specific goal has a much greater chance of being accomplished than a general goal, right? So to set a specific goal, you must answer the six W questions. So depending on what goal you're setting, you, um, you have to ask yourself, who is involved? What do I want to accomplish? Um, identify a location if necessary, um, establish a time frame. identify requirements and constraints, um, and then why would be uh, specific reasons, purpose, or benefits of accomplishing the goal. So who, what, where, when, which, and why. All right, so an example um, of a general goal would just be you know, I want to get into shape, which is when you're forming someone, right, when they give you a general why they want to do something, you have to dig deep to get a very specific goal. Because once you have a specific goal, then you start to really, you know, kind of put your arms around it to move towards that goal. So a specific goal would be lose 10 pounds by, and then a date, December 31st. So once you set a date, you almost 
you know, put yourself into action. All right, measurable, right? So the M means establish concrete criteria for measuring progress towards the, the attainable of each, uh, the attainment, excuse me, of each goal you set. When you measure your progress, you stay on track. Hang on one sec. All right, there we go. Um, when you measure your progress, you stay on track, reach your target dates, and experience the exhilaration of achievement that spurs you on to continue efforts required to reach your goal, right? So measure, measurable. Um, so for us in Beachbody, we have measurements, a lot of measurement systems that we, we utilize. So it can be your activity tracker. It can be your to-do list, which is basically the uh, business activity tracker just put into a Word document. And you can really measure yourself with that. You know, I'm going to invite this amount of people. I'm going to um, follow up with this amount of people. And, and then at the end of that week, you can really see if you met your goal. So to determine if your goal is measurable, ask questions such as how much, how many, right? So how many people I'm going to invite? And how will I know when, I, uh, when it is accomplished? All right, so that's measurable. Attainable, when you identify goals that are most important to you, you begin to figure out ways you can make them come true. You develop the attitudes, the abilities, the skills, and financial capacity to reach them. You begin seeing previously overlooked opportunities to bring yourself closer to the achievement of your goals. So you can attain any goal you set when you plan your steps wisely and establish a time frame that allows you to carry out those steps. Goals that may have seemed far away and out of reach eventually come closer and become attainable. Not because your goals shrink, but because you grow and expand to match them, which is why we do personal development, right? We grow into our goals, right? So we want to make sure that you know, and, and Darren Hardy talks about that. Um, if you've read his book, The Compound Effect, he talks about how he, um, he wrote all these qualities when he wanted to find his wife. And he was like, holy crap, I think I'm in trouble because how am I going to find this type of woman if I'm not this type of man? So he had to grow him, you know, himself to become that man that would attract that woman. So that's what this is. All right, so realistic. To be realistic, a goal must uh, represent an objective toward which you are both willing and able to work. So as long as you're willing and able to work for something, then it can be as high, you know, that goal can be as high as you want it to be. But you have to make sure, you have to decide that you're going to go for it, all right? So that's realistic. And then timely, a goal should be grounded within a time frame with no time frame tied to it. There's no sense of urgency, which is why when you're speaking to people, I always say to you, create an urgency. My challenge pack, my challenge pack, hear me? My challenge group starts on such and such date. Um, so if you want to join, you know, the last day to join is on such and such time. So when there is a time attached to it, then people really um, start putting actions action plans and they start doing what they need to do in order to achieve it. Um, and then the T can also be, uh, is that goal tangible? All right. So questions to ask yourself. If you were on Ivy's call on Tuesday night, right? These are goal, These are questions that you can ask yourself to start setting goals. And also these are questions that you can ask your future coaches when you're having that getting started right call. So these are really great questions. And these are questions that, you know, we're asking the GSR already or that, you know, Beachbody has actually put down into the new um, 30, the, the, uh, for a new, for a new, the 30, 30 and 30, you'll see it in a second for new coaches. So the first question is, what do you want to do with this opportunity? What benefits you want to get out of it, right? And this is a good way to start to set our own, our own goals and also help our coaches and our challengers. It doesn't have to be just our coaches, help them set goals. So what do you want to do with this opportunity and what benefits do you want to get out of it? What are, number two, what are the needs um, 
uh, did I miss all that? I sure did. What are the needs um, you want to, what, what are the needs you want to alleviate with the extra income you earn? And then you want them to be specific, same scenario with a challenger. You know, why do you want to lose weight? It's not going to be just to fit into that, you know, to that little black dress or to fit into a bathing suit. You know, you got to dig in, you got to dig deep. So be specific. So what are the needs you want to alleviate with the extra income? So for ourselves, what is it that, you know, we want? So it can be, and it can be small goals. You know, for me, when I first started, it was to pay two bags of Shakeology and I had to be that specific. I don't want Jorge to spend $200, you know, um, extra that we didn't have. We didn't have that expense, not we do. So I'm going to do whatever it takes in order to cover that expense. So um, you have to be specific. And then when you meet those goals, you set other goals. And then where do you see yourself in one year? right? Because the idea is that if you are going to work this business, you, if in order for it to work, you want to give yourself a year. No business is going to grow in less than that. Um, sometimes it has to be two years, three years, etc. So where do you see yourself in one year, two to three years, five years, 10 years? And what do you want to accomplish during that time frame? So these are great questions that um, she presented us with. So the first 30, so this is something that um, I'm going to, I actually posted it um, on our team page, but I will post it again. And this is the new system that Beachbody is using in order to set goals with our new coaches. And I think that anyone can do that. We can do that again, you know, for our, um, for our next year. So we can do, let me do this for my first 30 days. So in January, this is what I want to accomplish in February, right? So you can do first 30, first 60, first 90. You can tweak it as you want it. But this is something that you can do with your new coaches as well. So the important thing is your why, right? Um, I became a Team Beach Body coach because, and it goes back to what we've always talked about. It cannot be about, you know, um, well, I, my why is to help people. That's just a byproduct. And, and that's what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. But why do you? Why did you become a beach body coach? What you know? What is this opportunity going to help you accomplish? And that's what you want to focus um, around. And then my first thirty days, uh, you know, I want to help this amount of people join a challenge group, uh, challenge group, and achieve success club. Um, I earn at least you know this amount in total commission. So if you say I want to help three people then that's in commission, that's about, depending on the challenge pack, it's about $120, right? $120 um, that one month. If you do five, we're talking $200. What can that do for your family? Can that alleviate a bill? You know, can that, um, can that buy school supplies? Can that buy uh, food? Whatever it is, gas. So that's something that you want to set for yourself. Uh, complete my coach basics training or equivalent. So depending, some of you might still be on, you know, maybe phase two of, of coach basics. Um, maybe you want a refresher and go back to phase uh, one. Um, phase one and phase two is a new addition to our training. So many of the coaches here might have not even done it yet. I suggest that you put yourself through it before the end of the year and they're short they're five days each and i think it's a good idea to put yourself through it so that when you start to bring on coaches and you put them through it you know exactly what they're um you know what they're learning in there and what they're being presented with or um you know as you continue to grow in this business you'll be um added maybe to a um a push to diamond training, something like that. So you'll be able to complete those and then stick with my fitness program and drink psychology every day. So that's like for a new coach, but you can tweak it to do my first 34 January, or you can do, you know, your first 90, you can do whatever you guys want. And then the action items are obviously uh, things that will inch you right in the right direction of accomplishing those goals that you set for yourself. And, and that's basically the checklist that many of you guys already use today. If you don't use it, please let me know immediately and I will tag you on it and you should print it out and you should 
um, definitely utilize it. I binded mine. It's easy. I put my names on the back, but this is basically what it is. The vital behaviors post on social media. You're going to share your story. You're going to add value. You're going to make connections. So social media is, is really not for selling. It's really for connecting with people and adding value. And this way, once they feel connected to you, then they're going to want to, um, you know, buy from you. They, they buy into you, not into Beachbody. Then you want to start the conversation, right? Form. So, and then, and next to it is the how many, and are you doing this daily or weekly and how many times, right? So find someone's goal and invite them to a, uh, find out someone's goal and invite them to a challenge group, follow up with contact, work out in Drake Shakeology daily, personal development and recognize new challengers. This is all things that, you know, you're probably thinking that I know this. Um, and then finally is the time commitment. How many hours a day uh, will I dedicate to my business and how I'll find that time. Many of you guys go outside of the home to work. And even for us stay-at-home mommies, the day goes like this, right? Um, we're like sitting around thinking uh, we wake up and we're like, all right, I got all this stuff to do, you know? And sometimes it's misleading. Sometimes we feel like we can do 10 things in one day and we only get around to doing two. Um, so making sure that you set that time aside and put it in your calendar. And even if you get, you know, you have to remind yourself with, with a reminder on your phone and, and that you speak to your loved ones and say, you know, this hour is dedicated to Beachbody because I want to accomplish these goals because of this reason, because this is my why. And you dedicate that to yourself, you know, at least six days a week, I promise you that your business will flourish. And then your commitment, your potential obstacles, right? So you have to determine what those can be. Um, so what obstacles I'll face during my first 30 or 60 or 90 or throughout the whole year and how I plan to overcome those. That's important. And then accountability check-ins, guys. So this is important. And this is a good one. If you don't have an, account an accountability pa partner yet, a success partner, um, and you want one, then reach out to me. We can figure out um, who would be a good match in the team for you. Uh, if you already do, then you know that you're checking in with them at least once a week. Pian Matias is ready to say bye Okay. Okay, papi. Okay. Va con papi? Okay. No llore, no llore. Okay, sorry guys. So, so if you don't have, like I said, if you have one, you know that you're checking in with them once a week. If you don't have one, please reach out to me because I know that even though no one can hold you accountable to do the things you said you're going to do for your business or for your fitness or for your family, you know, it's good to check in with someone to say, you know, this week um, I had all these successes and I confronted these obstacles and this is the way I plan to overcome them. Or sometimes we feel stuck and talking to someone really helps us kind of sort those th things out. And then um, the other things are, you know, am I in a coach basics group if, you know, you haven't done one or am I in some sort of training um, in order to continue growing my business? Am I in a challenge group? You know, even though this is for a new coach, we should still be challengers. We should still be, you know, drinking our Shakeology and doing our workouts, right? And watching what we eat so that we can be proof the product works. I know which challenge group I'm inviting people to. Do you guys have a challenge group? If you don't have one, you know, there's many team members here that run one on a monthly basis. I know Amy runs one. I run one with Nilda and Maritza on a monthly basis. You know, the Rosas have one. I know that Carolina runs one. So I know that um, Gladys does too. So, you know, make sure that you guys are connected to a challenge group. If you don't have one, you don't need to feel obligated to run your own. You can partner up with someone. You can put people in my group. I know many coaches here are open to you inviting to their groups as well. It's just a matter of you opening your mouth and asking. And then um, I've connected with my coach. That's important. Connecting with your team, you know, connecting with our community so that you can continue to reach your goals is super, super important. So let's see if this plays. This is the first time that I put a video on one of my PowerPoints. The leadership ladder.
I don't know what's happening, but hopefully something happens soon. <laughs> yeah? Maybe not? And Gabby, I don't think anybody can hear the video. Really? Are you sure? Okay, let me play the other one. Yeah, we can hear it. Look at the chat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like listening to it. It's playing on my end. I'm like, what? Well, you're enjoying it. <laughs> my bad. You know what? Maybe if I take... Um, Can you hear it now? Ladder benchmarks will really position your business. Yeah. Okay, hang on. Let me growth. start it. Now, here's the. I'm glad someone says something. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hey, coaches, it's Michael, and I wanted to give you a quick overview on the leadership ladder. Now, coach ranks like Emerald Diamond, Star Diamond, they provide the basic framework for your business. But to complement this, we've created the leadership ladder. Now, the leadership ladder is just an additional set of benchmarks built around each rank that will help coaches focus on stretch goals to build their business towards. Now, achieving these benchmarks will better position your business for stability and growth. Let me give you an example. One of the leadership ladder positions is a team leader. Now, that's a diamond coach who has grown their business to align with the benchmarks for team leader. Now, we took a look at diamond coaches from January 2014 and said, what happened to those diamonds 10 months later? Now, those diamonds whose businesses align with the team leader benchmark, 63% of that class advanced in rank. Now, those diamonds whose business hadn't yet aligned with all the benchmarks of team leader, 10% of those advanced in rank. So you can see that reaching those leadership ladder benchmarks will really position your business for growth. Now, here's the good news. The knowledge and activities that you have to master in order to achieve those leadership ladder benchmarks are really no different than those that are required to reach the various coach ranks. However, the intensity of how you apply that knowledge and engage in those activities does matter. And that will help you reach the leadership ladder benchmarks. Now, for more information, check out the information on the leadership ladder page in the coach office. All right. All right. Glad you guys were able to hear that. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. Now I need to get out of here. Come on. And I can't. Let me um, stop share for a second. And then share again. Hopefully that'll do I something. can't hear you. You can't? No, it's like really low. Can you hear me now? Yes, a lot better. Okay. I just connected it back in, that's oh. why. So let me um, do that and share. Okay, here we go. Come on. Cool. All right, so this is the leadership ladder. Um, if you haven't seen the leadership ladder, 
this is what the leadership ladder looks like. And so what Michael Neiman was talking about, which is he's one of the presidents of the company, is that, you know, statistics show that if you are just hitting um, ranks to hit them, but you're not growing your business and you're not helping other people run, um, grow their business, then, then you're never going to grow this business anywhere. Okay. So basically the idea is that when you first start as a new coach, that you become a business starter. And how do you do that? And I want you to pay careful attention to the fact that this leadership ladder focuses around helping people and, you know, and that is measure by success club, right? So uh, for our new coaches, if you are helping one person with a challenge pack, you get two success club points. If you help one person with just Shakeology Home Direct, then you get one point. So as a business starter, um, you are going to be making $100 per month, all right? And that is by achieving success club five. So that's what I said earlier. If you're helping three people, then you're going to be making over $100. You're going to be making about $120 if, um, well, actually, because now our challenge pack that cost $140 is going away. Um, so now everything will be $160. That means that um, for commission, for, for you to connect a, ch um, a, a challenger or a coach to a challenge pack that costs $150, you're getting $50 commission per challenge pack. So now you've earned $150 if you help three people, right? So that is um, how you become a business starter. You have to be a coach. And when it says paid rank, that means that you're active. That means that as a, as a coach, you have to have um, 50 personal volume points, which means that, and personal volume points means, and I don't wanna confuse anyone, but personal volume points just means that you're consuming or you're selling. Um, and the easiest way to stay active as a coach is by staying on home direct Shakeology. I mean, we all should be on home direct Shakeology. I've never missed a month since I started as a coach because I have to be proof the product works. I can't talk to someone about Shakeology if I'm not drinking Shakeology. I can't talk to someone about joining my challenge group if I'm not exercising. I'm not, I cannot talk to someone about joining my challenge group if I'm not running one on a monthly basis, right? So this is important, guys. You know, so you have to be an active coach. You have to be earning or helping at least three people in order to earn um, at least $100, and that's how you become a business starter. Once you've hit that milestone, the next one is to become a team builder. And as you do it yourself, the responsibility as coaches is to teach it to the people who we brought into this business, who we've, who we've gifted this opportunity to. So how do you become a team builder? You become a team builder, number one, by um, help, same scenario, helping at least three people right? You're, and everything all across is helping at least five, um, excuse me, three people. So as long as you're hitting success club five, you, you would meet that criteria. But to be a team builder now, you have to be an Emerald or above coach. So Emerald means that you've sponsored two coaches, one on each leg, which means that, you know, we're a binary system. So just like us humans, we have two legs. So you've sponsored two people, one on your right leg, one on your left. And not only that, but now you're building a team, which means that as a team builder, you have at least two personal sponsored coaches achieving at least one success club point. So that means um, that two of your coaches are helping other people. And that means also that um, on your weak leg, you're developing your weak leg, that you have at least 200 team volume points. The easiest way to have 200 volume points on your weak leg is to have at least three people on Shakeology on that side, right? Because now that is um, 270 uh, team volume points because Shakeology gives you 90 points. And I know that the, the, the point system 
is confusing for people. So if you guys are not following, I need you to stop me and I need you to ask me questions because this leadership ladder is really important, guys. I'm not going to go deep into it. I'm actually going to do another training on it, which is going to be just the leadership ladder because I think that um, it merits that because I want each member here to go through all of the rungs that you become a business starter, that you jump to team builder, then team leader, because once you get to team leader, that's where, you know, you will never look back because this is where you're making some serious business in this business. All right. So, so basically like, like it states here, you're creating, and I always teach you guys this, and I want you guys to teach this to your downline, to the coaches that you're bringing in. You, we are responsible to building our weak leg. We're responsible to building both. But if you are, so wherever you land, that and, and, and wherever you see people being placed from above you, that's, your, that's supposed to be your strong leg or your share leg because you will always see people being placed from above, from your sponsoring coach and from maybe me, you know, or from other coaches from the organization. So our responsibility when, when you become an Emerald coach is that you sponsor two people, right? Left, right? Or the other way around. Um, and then what I always suggest is that to become um, a strong emerald, you sponsor the following two people and you do the same. You repeat it again. Like if you were becoming a, a, an emerald again, now you have two and two people on each leg. That's a strong emerald. And then I suggest that you start to develop your weak side as you are trying to reach that mouse on a diamond so that you can start to cycle, which means that you are going to take advantage of the team volume, all right? And if you went through um, phase two, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. So as an Emerald coach, we all um, earn, uh, I believe it's four, it's, it is $14 per cycle, which means that if you have 300 points and you turn it in, it's like a bank, right? You're collecting 300 points, you turn it into Beachbody, they give you $14 back. If you have 600 points, they give you $28 back. The tricky part is that a um, hundred needs to come from one leg and the other uh, from the stronger leg, you get 200 points. So this is why it's important to build that weak leg, guys. So 200, that means just put three people who are on Shakeology on that, on that weak leg, all right? And then you're an emerald, and then you're achieving at least $250 a month. That makes you a team builder. So if, you're, if you are helping five people at um, $50 per challenge pack, right? If you connect them with a challenge pack, that's $200. And then if you're cycling, you're going to hit that mark. So you're going to be a team builder. So the idea is that you are bringing in people who want to pay it forward. Let me go back. Did I do it? Oh, hang on a sec. Here we go. Why isn't it going back? Come on. So then team leader it come on. So team leader is where you're earning a thousand dollars per month. And in order to be a team leader, you have to be at least a diamond coach. You're helping at least three people a month. And you are also helping four people in your organization hit at least one success club point, which means that they're helping at least one person. So if you have four coaches in your organization that are helping at least one person and you're a diamond coach and you are helping at least three people and you have um, volume accumulated to 5,000 in your week leg a month, that makes you a team leader. That doesn't happen overnight, trust me, because I know, um, but there's many of you here that already have that in your uh, week leg already. So. Um, so definitely keep pushing for that. Keep helping people, which is why it's important to, you know, place people on the weak leg while the other leg is being 
uh, built by other team members. So, so definitely team leader is where it's at. That's what um, you, know, you wanna get to Diamond, but not just Diamond. You want to then build up to be a team leader Diamond. And then organizational, um, organization leader and then executive leader. And this is what I'm striving for. Uh, which means that, and this guys, I want you to know that, you know, it's not, you, you're earning at least that, right? So at least this, at least that, but you have to meet everything in order to move up to the following uh, benchmark or, or rung. So here is 2,500 per month and you're helping three people, but you're at least a two-star diamond coach. So you can be, you, you can have this volume, but if you're not a two-star diamond coach, then that means that you can't be an organizational leader. So you have to meet all the criterias, all right? Um, and then to make um, matters a little more um, complicated, they, uh, they threw in a curveball here and, and they want the organizational uh, leader, and obviously that's what they, they're called organizational leader, that they help two people develop into team leaders, which is this one right here. And then executive is four people, 50,000 PV, you're now from six people, you're helping eight people achieve at least one point, and then you're at least a five-star diamond. So this is where um, Jeff was talking about. If you are meeting each rung and you're jumping from one to the next and you're striving to move from one to the following one, then you're not going anywhere because you're building a strong foundation and a strong business. So don't just go for Emerald. Don't just go for Diamond. Don't go, you know, just go for one, two, three uh, stars, but go for, you know, go for that because that is the fun. You can't, you can't have one without the other. So, um, but you got to reach one of the, those milestones in order to start working um, towards the leadership ladder. And then the leadership roadmap is kind of similar to setting goals. And this one I'm going to need if you guys have a pen and paper, I'm gonna need for you guys to take notes. And I'm gonna actually, um, let me see if I can, I'm gonna stop my share for this. And then I'm going to go and, let me see, how do I? Come on. I have it open already, but I, I don't know that I can, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna go back to you guys and share the screen. Da -da -da, share screen. All right, everyone sees my screen? Yes? Okay, cool. So this is the uh, leader roadmap. This is what's going to help you set financial goals, all right? So I'm gonna post this in the team page and I'm gonna ask that you guys print them and then fill them out. And um, I'm going to take a picture of mine um, so that you guys can see. This is just kind of a sample. So if you wanna make $500 a week, um, the idea is that you're raising volume, you know, to match that. So this is just your annual personal goal. So you can go ahead and, you know, and fill this in. You can do your current and then, and, and this we're going to do your current, you know, as of today, if you fill it out tomorrow, it'll be as of tomorrow. And then the end of year. So you can, um, let's just use 2017 for end of year. And then, you know, this way you can set those goals for the following year. Um, how many, you know, what your monthly currently um, income is and what you want it to be by the end of next year. And then the number of new personally sponsored diamonds develop. Um, you're going to put what you've developed now and then what you are going to strive to help, you know, in your organization get to diamond. And then, you know, this is premier goals, elite goals, top 10 elite achieved, you know, so yes or no or whatever. So and this can be also, you know, if you're going for premiere next year, if you're going for elite, these are goals that I know many of you guys can achieve, 
Um, and I'm more than happy to go over what, you know, how you achieve Premier, how you achieve Elite, and, um, and how to earn Elite points, all right? All right, so then the monthly personal goals, you can do it by month, and you're going to now, you know, set them for yourself. Starting now, this is important, to really just track yourself and say, you know what, I want to achieve at least Success Club 5 every single month or 10, right? Or 20, whatever it is, right? And then how many beach body challenge groups are you going to run each month? You should be running at least one per month. Um, how many challenge packs sold from beach body challenge groups? How many challenge packs sold outside? You know, so this is all basically uh, things that are going to help you kind of get a, um, an understanding of your volume. So um, in order for you to be um, making $500 a week, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you numbers, but then I'm going to break it down so that you guys can understand what I'm talking about. So let's say you want to make um, 500, and then we're going to do 500, we're going to take it down to 250, and then we're going to take it up to 1,000 a week. So let's just say that you want to earn $500 a week all right what does it take so if you want to do this by you, you can do this obviously with challenge pack but it's going to be a lot of challenge packs that you're going to need to sell because as i mentioned before if you're helping five people at you know fifty dollars uh, per challenge pack that means that you're getting two hundred dollars so in order to get five hundred dollars a week right and that was 200 per month. That's a lot of challenge pack. It can be done, but you're gonna be talking to a ton of people. So in the easier way, the easiest way to get to um, making $500 a week is to help more people um, in your organization stay on Shakeology, whether they're working the business or not. So basically uh, uh, customers, clients, um, or, you know, discount coaches that love Shakeology, that produces volume. Each Shakeology being sent out, being shipped out is 90 PV. So making sure that, you know, we're doing running challenge groups, that we're being loyal to our customers, that we're being loyal to our challengers, that we are showing them the value of Shakeology, the value of using the performance line, all of that produces volume. Um, the value of, you know, jumping from one uh, program to the next once they complete one and just really jumping in whenever there's a release. So, um, so for $500 on your week leg, you need to be producing 2,700 volume points, 2,700 volume points. And on your strong leg, 5,400. Guys, there's many of you guys that um, have that volume already. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to, so please don't let me forget how to go check what your carry over volume is. So if you, so this is what I always tell, as soon as you hit Emerald guys, do not lose your rank. The minute you go in active or the minute you drop rank, whatever volume was being accumulated, it's like basically you have a bank with Beachbody. The minute you lose your rank of Emerald and the minute you um, go inactive, Beachbody goes into your account and takes all that volume away from you. So I always, you know, talk to all of you guys and tell you, if you were an Emerald coach, do whatever it takes to stay an Emerald coach so that you can continue to build volume because as we grow as a team, the volume grows, your bank grows. And while you might not be ready to cash it out right now, because you have to build your weak leg in order to do that, it is our responsibilities if you wanna meet those goals that you set at the beginning, right? That you cash it out at some point. So 2,700 on your weak leg and 5,400 on your strong. So remember, kind of it has to double because they're taking 100 volume points from your weak leg and 200 from your strong leg in order to 
produce those 300 that will give you $14 if you're an emerald, $16 if you're a ruby coach, or $18 if you are a diamond coach. So if you divide 2,700 divided by 100 volume points, because that's what they start to deduct from your weak leg, that's 27 cycles. 27 cycles per week is what you need in order to make $500 a week. So I hope that makes sense. 27 times 18, if you're a diamond, that's $486. So I hope you guys are taking notes. 27 cycles times 18. If you're an Emerald Coach, 2,700 divided by 100 again, I'm doing, times 14, that's $378. And then if you are a Ruby coach times 16, that's 432. Then as you want to progress, you, you, the idea is that you progress, right, to making $1,000. And I'm going to give you all the numbers so that you can write it down. But if you want to, if your goal is to make $250, then you, all you got to do is take 2,700 and we're going to divide that by two. So that's 1350. So if you're making about 1400 volume in your week leg, that's 14 cycles. So 14 cycles times 18, that's $250. So 18 cycles, what does that mean? 18 Shakeology shipping from your week leg every single week. That's what that means. So which means that, um, excuse me, that's if, if you want to do 250 a week, if you want to do 250 a month, then that's different, right? But if you want to do 250 a week, then that's 18, um, right? Did I say that right? 20, uh, 250, excuse me. I, I'm going to go back. 250, so that was uh, 2,700, so 14. 14 Shakeologies um, sh that need to go out per week if you want it to be a weekly thing, guys. If, you, if it's, you know, if it's monthly, that's fine. You can, you can basically uh, divide um, or, or multiply, right? Because if it's 2,700 a month, then you're going to earn $500 a month. If it's, if it's uh, 1,400 a month, then you're going to earn $250 a month. So that's what I want you to understand. So the numbers I'm giving you is um, by week, but we can do it by month as well. So if you wanna earn $500 a month, then, then concentrate on building 2,700 volume points a month, which means that that's, that's 27 Shakeology shipping, 27. So as you continue to build, you see why it's important to stay consistent with, with hitting Success Club? If you help three people, right? And then you help three people the next month, and you showed everybody the value, the, the value of Shakeology, now you have six people receiving. But not only your Shakeologies from those customers count, what counts also is everybody that's under you. So it can be people that were being placed there by your sponsoring coach. So how about that person brought in three people too? Now, now you have, instead of just three people, now you have six people. And you see how the compound effect starts to kick in. So I'm going to give you the numbers. So these numbers are for, I'm going to go in and say that, um, and you can utilize them. You can say, I'm going to strive to do this on a weekly basis, but you can do this on a monthly basis. All right. So if you do it on a weekly basis, you just got to write weekly right on top of it. If you're going to do it for monthly, you're just going to write monthly next to it. So if you want to earn $500 a week, then you need to earn, you need to um, have at least 2,700 volume points on your weak leg and 5,400 on your strong leg. If you want to earn $500 a month, same scenario, 2,700 a month and 5,400 volume points on the strong a month. And then the next month, you want to try to increase that, right? And now what you're going to do is you're going to be making 3,400 3, volume points on your weak leg and 6,800 
on your strong leg. So you see how you just double that? 100 and 200 equals to 300. So 34 cycles times 18 of your diamond, that's $612. If you are an Emerald Coach, 34 cycles times 14 is $474. So you can spread that out. If let's say you want to earn, you know, $500 a week, 2700 divided by four weeks. 2700 divided by four weeks. Now you have to just concentrate on 675 volume points each week. So you see how you kind of just break that down. So the following month, you can do 4,100 on your weak leg and you can do 8,200 on your strong leg. 4,100 on your weak and 8,200 on your strong leg. And then that also increases your income. So 41 cycles times 18 is 738. The idea is that you're increasing little by little to get to a thousand. Um, and again, you can view this on a weekly basis or you can view this on a monthly basis, whatever your goal is. You are the one who determines that. So I'm gonna go quickly um, over all the numbers so that you guys can write them down. So I got to month three, month four would be 4,800 on the weak leg, 9,600 on the strong leg. 4,800 on the weak leg and 9,600 on the strong leg. For um, the month five would be, so that would be May, 5,500 in your weak leg and um, now we have 110, right? Hang on, uh, let me, 5,500 times two is 11,000, 11,000. So that is on your strong leg, 5,500 on your weak leg and 11,000. And if you do the math, 55, all you got to do is take 5,500, divide that by 100, and then you're going to multiply that by whatever um, you're cycling. So by, if you're doing this by month um, five, you're making $1,000 a month if you do this by month. Again, if you strive for it by, weekly, by week, then you know that that's the volume you have to produce by week. All right, so now the next month, now we're up to uh, month six, is 6,200 on your weak and 12,400 on your strong leg. 6,200 on your uh, weak leg and then 12,400 um, 12, on your strong leg. Then on your seventh month, you are doing 6,900, 6,900. And then let me make sure 6,900 and then times two, that's 13,800 on your strong. So 6,900 on your, on your weak leg and 13,800 on your strong leg. By August, by month eight, you're striving to make 7,600 on your weak leg. And like I said, there's some of you already making that on your weak leg. So this is, this is where, you know, you want to see where, where your um, carryover is. So make sure someone reminds me of that. 7,600 on the weak and 15,200 on your strong. That's month eight. 7,600 and 15,200. And 76 cycles will be times 18. That's 1,368. And then 8,300, that's month nine. September 8,300 on the weak, and it is 16,600 on the strong. 8,300 and 100 on the weak, and 16,600 on the strong. Month 10 is 9,000 on the weak, and 18,000 on the strong leg. 9,000 on the weak, and 18,000 on the strong. And then month 11 is 9,700, 9,700 on the, on the weak leg and 19,400 on the strong, 19,400 on the strong. And finally, in December is um, 4,000, 
I'm sorry, 10,400 on the week, 10,400 on the week, and on the strong leg is 20,800. 20,800 on the strong leg. So that is 104 cycles times 18. That's almost $2,000 a month. And again, I'm going to repeat myself. You can take those numbers and you can say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to strive to do this on a monthly basis. I'm going to make this on a weekly basis. I'm going to make this every two weeks. And then now you have the volume points. And what you need to think about is every 100 PV, it's like one Shakeology. It's connecting one person with Shakeology or helping your coaches help people so that everyone is taking advantage of, you know, every single time those uh, bags ship out. And that is, please, if that doesn't make sense, if you guys are lost, please ask me now. And this is where you would be putting that info here, guys. Um, where is that? Up here. Up here. Where it says strong leg and weak leg. And you can put the income here. So if you're, um, if you're uh, an Emerald coach, you would be multiplying by 14. If you're a Ruby coach, you would be multiplying by 16. If you are a diamond, you would be multiplying by um, 18. So um, that's what I wanted to go over in terms of the leadership ladder. And then we have a um, spreadsheet that I can show you. And that one is pretty much this, it's just that you can play around with it a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna stop my share for a second and I wanna see, I don't see a lot of faces. Um, please talk to me. Are you guys like, what the hell did Gabby just do? <laughs> Look at Amy's face. <laughs> what does she talk about right now? Um, no, for, sorry, Gabby. I have all three of my kids with me, me yelling my head off. So I lost most of the information. I'm going to post this though. I'm going to, okay. Then. I'm going to post this. These are all the numbers, but if it still doesn't make sense, please ask me. I'm going to post the empty one you know, the, the worksheet and then with a pencil, you go in, you know, because I gave you for $500 and then you started at 500 and that could have been, you know, something that you did for the month, but then you can say, I want to take it further and I want to do 500 per week. But now you have the numbers, you have the volume that needs to be on each leg in order to make that happen. If you want to break it down a little further, think about it you know, based on the amount of people you're helping. So if you need to cycle 27 times in order to make, you know, $500 a month, just on cycle, that has nothing to do with the commission, right? That means you need to help 27 people, not just you, the entire downline, right? So it doesn't have to be just your people. It could be, you know, if let's say, you know, um, in Nilda's case, uh, she's on my left leg. So it can be people that are being helped from Jorge, from Carolina. You know, they all see it. It can be people, you know, Carolina, Carolina. It can be uh, Magdalena, it can be Maritza, like all that, you know, all those coaches that are helping people. And when your Shakeology ships out, you know, you guys benefit from it. When, when your people Shakeology ship out, it all adds up. So it doesn't have to be 27 people you're helping. It's 27 people from that downline that you see below you. Make sense? I just wanted to give you numbers because I know, well, at least my mind, that's how it works. I need to see how many volume points I need to um, produce in my downline in order to achieve that goal. And then once you've hit it, then you can move on to the next one and say, okay, now I'm going to raise that volume so that I can, you know, earn more. So by the time you started with 500, if you continue to add 700, 700, that's seven people basically per month. And again, that's not just you. Seven, if you're helping together in all your downline, seven people every single month and their Shakeology shipping, and you continue to do that in your weak leg and your strong leg, What's going to happen is that by the time 2017 finishes, you're making $2,000 a month if you took it in a monthly basis. But you can do that, you know, and say, I'm going to do this on a weekly basis as well. So questions?
Are you guys still processing? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, let me see. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you, let me, um, I don't know how to, I told you my computer's acting weird and I can't like minimize my, um, my zoom. So that's the problem. Of <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see if I can open this, the spreadsheet that I was telling you guys. And this one, um, is a little, you know, it's fun because you can, well, why is this not working? Because you can plot, you can kind of play with the numbers and see how many uh, Shakeology bags need to ship. Hang on. It's not opening for me, of course. Oh, come on. Okay, is it open? Give me a second, guys. Uh, do you want to open? I don't know that it's going to open. But if it doesn't, I'll just post it in the team page. It's there already, but I'll either bump it or post it again. Okay, here, oh, it's showing, yay. All right, so let me share my screen. Come on. That's what I was seeing before. Mm. Oh, and then that happened. <laughs> Are you guys still there? Yes, we're here. Do you see my black screen? Nilda, don't talk about my computer because I know what you're thinking in your head. I did not say anything. <laughs> Look at what happened. Like, I don't even know how to escape. Like, this is crazy. We just see a white screen. I, I see a black screen. Okay. Ooh, here goes. Okay, I see you guys again. Hopefully it'll, here we go. Okay, do you see it? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Oof. All right, so this is the Team Psycho bonus one. So let's say you put, um, okay, Gab, I want to make 200 and... $50. Um, and again, this could be monthly or, or weekly. We can say, I'm going to make $250 a week. Come on. Can I change it? Oh, oops. It would help if I say enable editing. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. So, I'm going to say I'm, I want to make $250 a week, weekly earning. And it, and it tells you exactly, and this is, you know, again, you put in what you cycle at. So if you're cycling at $18, it tells you that you need 13 cycles in order to make $250 a week. And so it tells you as well. So you know how I gave you all those numbers and why you might have been writing and you were like, I don't know what I'm writing, but I'm, I'm going to write these numbers down. You can, do, you can do it in this calculator and it tells you exactly how many uh, volume points, team volume points need to be on your weak leg and you're strong. And you see how it's definitely um, doubled. So 100 comes out of your weak and 200 comes out of your uh, strong leg and that's 13 cycles. And then it tells you in Shakeology amounts. How cool is that? If you want to make $250, it tells you you need to, it in your weak leg, you want to I'll be shipping 14 Shakeologies per week, and then on your strong, 29. It's pretty neat, right? And then if you wanna do $1,000 a week, now that increases, now that changes things. Now you gotta cycle 55 times a week. But if your goal is to do 1,000 a month, you just kinda disregard the weekly here and just know that you need to cycle 55 times in one month and you can divide that by 
by four weeks. And now you know that you have to um, cycle about 13, 14 times every week in order to make a thousand dollars. Yes. Is there a place on um, the, co the coach uh, office where it tells you how many times you've cycled? Yeah. There is? I haven't so seen you, Yeah. So when, so when you go into your, your check, your commissions, you click on it, it tells you your team cycles. So you, it tells you exactly how many times you cycled that week. The other, the other thing is, uh, I'm, not, I'm not logged in here, but I was going to say the other thing that you can do to see how many volume points you have stored, meaning your, your um, carryover volume, you're going to go to Team Beach Body, log in, coach, coach online office. Then you're going to go to where it says my business. And then you're going to go where it says my volume. And then you're going to go where it says my carryover volume. It's going to show you what your right leg has and what your, um, your uh, strong leg has, whichever that is. And then some people may, may be surprised because you have a lot of um, cycle, uh, excuse me, volume that continues to be rolled over from week after week, which is why I always say, try your best to stay active. Try your best to keep your, your ranks um, because of the fact that you would be losing money. It's, like, it's just like giving Beachbody money back if you started collecting and then you lost um, your Emerald rank or you went inactive. So yes, yeah, so you can definitely see that. Now the in commission, once you click on it, it breaks it down. It tells you where that money's coming from. It tells you um, in terms of, you know, how many challenge packs you sold. It tells you whether um, you earn money from the club membership, whether it was from, um, from team cycle bonuses, from other bonuses that we make, which is the 5% and the 10% that we earn from our team members uh, making team cycle bonuses. So when you're, uh, so the beauty of becoming a Ruby coach is that when you're a Ruby coach and your coaches earn team cycle bonuses, you get 5% of that. And then if you're a diamond coach, whenever your team cycles, whatever amount they get, you get 10% of that. So let's say someone made a thousand dollars in team cycle bonus, you get 10% of that. And 10% of that is um, 100, right? 1,000 times 10% is $100. So your team gets, your team member gets $1,000, you get um, $100 from that. So that's, so it breaks it down very nicely. It tells you exactly where your check um, is coming from. Okay, so you can play around with this. Um, I'll bump it up um, and then you guys can kind of just say what you want to make and then just kind of look, you know, what that looks like um, in terms of, of making that happen. So if you want to be making $2,000 a month, you just put $2,000 there and then it breaks it down. That's just by month guys, but this is a weekly thing. So if you want to be making, you know, a thousand dollars every month, then this is what it will take. I'm sorry, every week. And this is what it will take. And then it tells you exactly what you need. Sounds good. I know it's a lot of numbers. Um, and some of us, you know, numbers is not our strength. So it might be a lot to, 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 to kind of process, but you know, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to bump this up. I'm going to put the leadership, the, the leader roadmap um, on the team page. Please print it out. Play around with the numbers. I think it's important for you to really just jot it down, write it out, because that is really going to help you with, you know, your income goals. And I'm sorry that my computer is acting weird, like always. Maybe in the new year, my goal is to get a Mac. Even though I have a Mac back there, but a laptop. <laughs> Any questions? Please? No? You asked anybody has questions and Julian said yes. Yes? <laughs> what, do you, what do you have? What ready, do you want to know? He's ready with his calculator. <laughs> oh, you see, he got that. 
See, I have a volume question. <laughs> Go ahead, ask me. Like, okay. he, these are the numbers. So this is how much he wants mommy to make. Can you see that? Oh, that's a lot of numbers. I like it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of volume. <laughs> that's a lot of psychology and a lot of people. And a lot of challenge facts. <laughs> But thank you guys. I know it was a lot, but I think that it's important for you guys to really put, you know, a number because this way you work towards it. If you're just, you know, um, helping people without having a target every month. I mean, the idea is that, yes, that we help people, but you have to be consistent, which is why it's important to help three people every month. Because if you help three people, then the next month is another three people. Now you have six people. Shakeology shipping. And then the following month, you have it's the compound effect. You have nine people, right? And so on and so forth. And then if you teach your people to do the same thing, then it's going to just duplicate and, you know, go um, basically just do the, what the compound effect does and just going to multiply like crazy. Trula, you have a question? Your hand is, uh, oh no, it says lower hand. Wait, do I do that? I don't know what that means. It says lower hand. I don't know what that means. Do you have a question? I can't hear you. And you're not muted. <laughs> oh, you don't have a question. You do have a question, but I can't hear you. But you're not muted. So put the volume up maybe. Take this, take this off. Sometimes mine doesn't work. No. Type it out. Chula. She said, I'm pretty lost, but I will go over again and record it. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is what happens at first. Oh, this is when the video was happening. I don't know. There was, there, it says that there's like 50 comments. If anyone has any, ha, did you guys write questions here? No, no. Okay. All right. No, I think everyone. All right. It's fine to be lost at first, but I think that watch the video again and then, um, Chula, did you do uh, phase two yet of the training? She's frozen too. You did do it. Okay. So, so if you understand, and I know that volume can be, you know, the cycle thing can be a little complicated to, to kind of comprehend at once. Just, I think this, the easiest way to look at it is that you have two legs, right? And this is just one way to make money. Um, the, the easiest way is to sell and get commission, right? It sounds ugly, but that's, that's what it is. You get commission for connecting someone with a challenge pack. That's the easiest way to earn money. But the second uh, way to earn money is by volume. And this is, you know, this is um, a binary system, which means that you are collecting volume from two different legs. One of your, your right and your, and your left. Um, one of your legs is a strong leg or what we call a share leg, which means that the people from a, a, above, so for you, Chula, it would be Maritza um, is helping you build that leg, all right? So that's your share leg. So you don't have to build that on your own. Now there's another leg that you will have to build on your own that she will never help you build right? So one we're responsible for building and then the other one, um, but we're actually personally, we're responsible for building both, right? But our upline is only going to help us build one. All right. So I build two, my left and my right, right? And then as people start to come into the organization, then eventually they're going to fall like you where Maritza can only assist you in one because she has to help the other outer leg, right? 
So your responsibility is to build both, but also concentrate on the weaker one so that you can produce more volume, so that you can make more money. And so the way Beachbody does it is that in simple terms, you collect 300 volume points, you give it back to them, they give you money in return. But it's not just $300 um, from anywhere. It's, it has to be 200 from one leg and 100 from another. That's why one leg is stronger because they're taking 200 and they're taking 100 from this one. That makes up 300 points. You get $14 because you are an Emerald coach. As you move on in rank, you become Ruby coach or go straight like, um, like Migda, uh, Migda, not Migdalia, uh, Maritza did. Then you go from 14 to 18. So she gave herself a raise, right? So basically that's what happens. Then you start to cycle at $18. And it's just that you give 300 and then they give you $18 back. But the, the more you watch it, the more you do it, the more you do actually earn it, I think it makes more sense. No problem. I hope that makes sense. But anyway, thank you guys for jumping on. You know, again, if, if I confuse the heck out of you guys, please, you know, reach out to me. Um, if you want to discuss your income goals with me and need me to help you break them down, you know, I'll help you break them down. You know, we'll go all the way down to like how many challenge packs, how many Shakeology you need to ship in order for you guys to reach those goals, all right? It's now, you set them now for 2017. All right, guys, have a great night. I'm gonna post these things and make sure you complete them. And if you need help, you ask me. Have a wonderful night. Thank you, Annie. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.